Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World for episode number 13. This episode we're going to be building a JL Innovative Design Hover Mill Warehouse wooden kit. It comes with very specific directions, some plastic parts and also some well cut out and well thought out wood parts. Looks like this is going to be a real fun kit. Now on these wooden kits I almost always color them with my weathering powders. They're clean, they're fast, there's no drying time and importantly there's no warping like you can get sometimes with paints and stains. And you can move right along in construction. Now the next thing I need to caution you about is never 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 break your plastic parts off the the holders because it'll wreck the parts. Always use a flush cutter like I'm using here. You'll just be happier with it. Now my personal favorite tool is the Chopper 2 by the Northwest Shortline folks. There is no better tool to make repetitive accurate cuts of wood, plastic, and that new density paper stuff. I don't know what to call it. And then of course you want to start building on the flat. So you put all your doors and windows in before you start putting the box together. Once the doors and windows are dry, then you want to put these backings on, the corner pieces. Make sure that they're exactly in line with the side of the building, because it'll make a difference later. And here comes the most important part, making sure that your building is square and plumb. I like to use a sewing mat. It really helps you out. You might want to get one of these. Make sure to take the time that as the glue dries, it's straight and square. Then comes the roof support. I kind of had to mess around with it. Either I made it a little too long, which pushed the walls out, or a little too short and it fell through. Take your time with that. Then you build the little side building. Once again, gluing those backing corners in. And while you're looking here, you'll see that there's a hole between the different parts of the walls. That will be filled in with trim as you move along. Make sure you get this in exactly the right place that you want, because of course when the glue's dry, that's where it'll be. It's time to move on to the roofing. They give you this wonderful high density cardboard for subroofing. Take your time, make sure to mark it off correctly before you start cutting. And it goes on real easy. It goes on to that upper support that I showed you a little while ago. Of course, talking about gluing, use the least amount possible. And then you build the top cupola. I guess you'd call it a cupola, the top part of the building, just like you did the other parts. Now it's time to think about roofing. I decided to dig around my treasure chest to see what I had and I had some old metal roofing which I like a lot. So I carefully cut out some pieces that will fit over the subroofing. Then what you have to do is put these corner pieces in. Remember I pointed them out earlier? If you have everything right they'll fit in perfectly and fit just right. Oh don't forget the loading bay. You gotta have that loading ramp. So we're almost done with the model. It's been an easy build. Yeah, the roofing took a little time, but that's okay. And there you have it, an almost finished model. The one thing that's missing as well, the roof's way too shiny, and there's no weathering. So I'm going to get out my weathering stuff, put a little color here and there, and let's see how it looks. Well, there you have it. I added a little weathering here and there. I added a few figures and some stuff for the loading dock and the track and stuff. came out really nice. This kit from JL Innovative Design, the... Hubber Mill Warehouse Kit was lots of good fun. Well, thanks for joining me here at Murphy's Welcome to My World, Episode 13. Hope you guys are having fun with your trains. Come back and visit me again anytime. Bye now.